Uh, we've done quite a lot of work on Syria um, on contempt land in the past sort of 20 years, um, including like 40 good practice guidance report to e-training to face-to-face -face training. I think obviously the highlights will be those 40 reports, uh, which include case studies to really practical guidance that you can use um, on site for contractors. Um, because not just that um, they're very special, no other organisation I think in UK have done that. Um, it, you know, uh, it is also um, what's so special is perhaps it serves so many different target audience in the construction industry as well, from clients to local authorities, the contractors, or even, even to the public in some respect. So um, I think they were quite special. Um, I think there's a couple of reasons for it. Um, partly because it's very comprehensive, as I said before, uh, different, different tools, different forms of tools to help people with different um, levels, different needs um, to, to get better in dealing with risks and remediating contempt of light. Um, and also um, the way that we operate is so special, it's very special as well. It's, it's all, you know, a result of a collaborative research. So, you know, we always have project steering group, which include uh, not just funders, but the user, the most important end user of the product, whatever it may be. So it is, it's, it's, it's industry concern sent. And I think that probably win a lot of people's heart and we are doing something which is worthwhile. So I think that's how the respect comes into it. Um, I think even though that we are still, UK is still technically in, in recession, um, the UK population is growing, the world population is growing, but you know, our country, you know, on the, on the globe is not growing any bigger. Um, ultimately we want, we need more land for living, for, for working. We have to use, reuse some of the previous use sites. So the challenge will be how to um, redevelop brownfield site in a sustainable manner. And when I say sustainable, sustainable manner, it's not just environmentally acceptable. It's how to do it cost effectively. How does you know people who live around who be using those sites, would they will be happy about it? Uh, it is obviously a very major challenge. And also to achieve that goal, it will involve so many people. Because what fascinated me is, as a, as a chartered chemist, when I'm working in the contaminant industry, so called, you involve so many different people, different disciplines, different backgrounds. Okay, me as a chemist, but also lawyers, architects, uh, consultants, contractors, and local authorities. Um, how do we all have different backgrounds, different expertise, different trainings, different emphasis? So how we can also come to a, a consent on a particular subject will be quite challenging. So that's obviously something that we can look forward to in the future.